Part of I-70 remains closed at this hour west of Lyman where 11 semis piled up in a fiery crash. That accident happening just after 8 this morning. Still having an impact though right now. It's a 7 News alert. Smoke and flame coming from some of the vehicles even hours after the initial crash. It shut down all westbound lanes of I-70 near Lyman until literally just minutes ago. But again, one lane 12 miles west of town is still closed. Even the eastbound lanes were closed for a while because smoke from the fire made it dangerous for other drivers. 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez is live along I-70, and Lance, they're still cleaning up this mess. John, there's a lot to clean up, especially because of the fire. Now, one semi, we were told, was hauling tar and adhesive. We talked to the drivers of an SUV who described a harrowing experience as their vehicle slid underneath one of the semis that jackknifed in front of them. They told me they're, they feel lucky to still be alive. I tried to duck as much as I could. The, the top of the roof caved in and was pretty much right in front of my face. So. Justin Caswell says it's the closest call he and his girlfriend have ever had. If we'd gotten hit again, it would, it would have killed us. They say following the collision, the semi next to them started leaking fuel like crazy. It happened very fast. I mean, in the time that it took me to get my seatbelt off, the semi was already engulfed in flames. The smoke could be seen for miles. Miraculously, Caswell and Meadow escaped with just a few cuts from shattered glass. Investigators say in all, 11 semis and one passenger vehicle collided on the ice slickened highway, part of which was shrouded in fog. People were uh, driving too fast for the, the road conditions and uh, they weren't probably allowing enough time in between vehicles to give them that appropriate uh, distance of slowing. Oh, this is Leo. Big boy Leo. Caswell and Meadow had four dogs with them when they slid under the semi. They say one took off running following an explosion. I could hear the semi burning and then the tires exploding and that's when my dog took off and then we're trying to grab the other dogs and it was just chaos. Now Molly Meadow told me that she uh, heard that a trucker picked up a dog a little bit further down I-70. She said she hopes it's her dog and that she can get it back again right now. One westbound lane of I-70 is closed about 12 miles west of uh, Lyman. The rest of the lanes are open. Reporting live in eastern Colorado, Lance Hernandez, 7 News.